dear students and friends in this video i'm going to discuss about chain drives a chain drive consists of an endless chain wrapped around two sprockets the chain consists of number of links connected by pin joints the sprockets are toothed wheels with a special teeth profile here you can notice the sprocket and this is the chain these are the various links inside that chain now we will see what are the advantages of chain drives these chain drives can be used for different center to center distances and here another advantage is number of shafts can be driven in the same or opposite direction by means of the same sprocket chain drives are compact than bell drives that means this occupy very less space compared to bell drives these are positive drives because there is no slip hence efficiency is also high now coming to the disadvantages these are not suitable when precise motion is required due to the polygonal effect what is this polygonal effect that i'll explain in detail in the coming slides next proper cleanliness and lubrication is required that is the another drawback and with the time the chain become loose so that is called as slackness that has to be adjusted time to time and another drawback is chain drive generate the noise next coming to the construction part these are the important parts inside the chain the first one is pin here you can notice the pin so this pin is in press fit with the outer link plate this is the outer link plate the next part is the bush this bush is in press fit with the inner link plate this green color one is the inner link plate and over the inner link plate there is a roller so up to this portion i am representing the section from here onwards it's not in the section this is the roller when section is not there this is the roller when section is there okay this roller is freely mounted on the bush the purpose of the roller is to provide the rolling friction when the chain is passing over the sprocket now we will see some geometric relations so this is the representation of the chain over the sprocket the distance between the centers of two adjacent rollers of the chain link is called as the pitch this is the pitch and the angle subtended by this chain link with the center will call as the pitch angle that will denote with alpha that you can notice here okay this alpha value you can get something like this 360 is the total angle divided by number of teeth will give the pitch angle alpha okay now i'll take this triangle i am drawing the triangle separately here then then the total angle is alpha if you draw a perpendicular like this half of it will become alpha by 2 i am using this right angle triangle with the angle alpha by 2 to get the relation for pitch circle diameter d now take this sin alpha by 2 value sin alpha by 2 equal to opposite side that is p by 2 divided by hypotenuse that is d by 2 from this d equal to p by sin alpha by 2 we'll get alpha value is 360 by z you can substitute that value here in place of alpha then d equal to p by sin 180 by z now observe here velocity ratio velocity ratio is the ratio of number of teeth on the driven sprocket divided by number of teeth on the driving sprocket number of teeth on the driven sprocket will be high compared to the number of teeth on the driving sprocket such that we can reduce the velocity and we can increase the torque that is the purpose of speed reduction ratio or velocity ratio okay next coming to the velocity of the chain v equal to linear velocity v equal to pi d n by 16 into 10 cube when d value is in millimeters you have to write 10 cube here in the denominator okay now already we have derived the equation for d d equal to p by sin 180 by z we have derived in place of sin 180 by z we can write as a pi by z for very small values of sin okay so that's why this will become d equal to p by pi by z that is z p by pi we will get now you substitute this d value that is z p by pi here then it will be something like this z p n by 16 to 10 cube we will get this is the equation for velocity next i'll derive the relation for length of the chain length of the chain we can write something like this that is number of links into pitch ln equal to number of links p equal to pitch to get the length of the chain i'll use the very popular equation which we have derived in bell drives to determine the length of the belt that is l equal to this here in place of pitch circle diameters you can substitute z p by pi d1 means z1 p by pi d2 means z2 p by pi substitute like this now simplify this for 
getting the L value. L value you have to simplify in this format. P into something. That something will become number of links. Now after substitution, I am just doing the simplification and I am getting a term like this. L equal to P that is pitch into this total term. Now this total term will represent the equation for number of links something like this. In this way you can derive the equation for finding the length of the chain. Now if you rearrange this equation you can get the center to center distance equation like this. From that we can get the equation for center to center distance. Now we will see what is polygonal effect. When the chain is passing over this sprocket as this sprocket is a toothed wheel and chain consists of some number of links we will get some jerky motion that is called as polygonal effect. This polygonal effect you can imagine something like this. Drive the belt will use a cylindrical member. In place of cylinder, if you place a polygon, what kind of motion the belt will experience? That kind of motion the chain will get here. Okay. Suppose you assume that the belt is passing over a square in place of circle. What will be the type of motion the belt will experience and how the velocity will vary? That we will observe here. Now assume that only 4 links are there that means it is a sprocket consists of only 4 teeth or you can assume that it is a polygon having only 4 sides. A, B, C, D are the 4 sides it is something like this. Suppose this A, B link is at somewhere here from the center it is at the maximum distance that is D by 2. This total circle diameter is D here to here the distance is D by 2. Then the maximum velocity V equal to pi dn by 16 to 10 cube. Now we will observe what will happen when it is rotating like this you can observe here I will show the rotation ok did you notice it I will again play this when it is rotated like this this AB link position is shifted from D by 2 distance to D by 2 cos alpha by 2 distance this distance is reduced how to find this reduced distance means this angle is alpha by 2 Okay, you will agree this is alpha by 2 because this total is alpha, this is alpha by 2. This is D, then automatically this will be the adjacent side. That means this, this is D by 2. This adjacent side means D by 2 cos alpha by 2. That is nothing but this. Okay, that means in the place of D, you have to write D into cos alpha by 2. That is what I have written here. Now this is the maximum velocity because this is the maximum distance from the center this point. This is the minimum velocity because this is the minimum distance from the center. Now the difference of maximum and minimum is something like this. In place of alpha if you substitute 360 by z it will lump something like this. When z values increase it to infinity that means number of teeth is increasing then automatically this term will become 1. Denominator is infinity means this value will become 0, cos 0 equal to 1, 1 minus 1 equal to 0 that means maximum minus minimum this variation is becoming 0 when the teeth are increased to infinity. When the teeth is increasing automatically this difference is decreasing here. So minimum number of teeth you have to consider for sprocket is 17. Below 17 if you take any other value then automatically you will get the polygonal effect power rating of roller chains. This is the equation for power transmission capacity of the chain power equal to P1 V by 1000 where P1 is the allowable tension in the chain V is the velocity of the chain. Here velocity of the chain is meters per second tension is in newtons. Next power rating we have to calculate by taking the power and multiply that with Ks and divided that with K1 and K2 where Ks is the service factor. So these three factors are used to compensate the fluctuating loads that the chain is experiencing because of the various loads acting on the chain. This Ks is the service factor, this compensates the shock and vibration and K1 is the multiple strand factor and K2 is the tooth correction factor. Now we will see a simple problem on chain drives. It is required to design a chain drive to connect 10 kW 1440 rpm electric motor to a centrifugal pump running at 720 rpm. The service conditions involve moderate shocks and find the power rating, determine the piston circle diameters of driving and driven sprockets, determine the number of links in the chain, specify the correct center center distance between the axes of the sprockets, 
assume that k s equal to 1.3 k 1 equal to 1 k 2 equal to 1 and pitch equal to 19.05 mm actually these values you have to collect from the data book but here data books are not allowed that's why i'm giving the data this is the given data now from the given data very easily you can calculate the power rating because power is given k s k 1 k2 values are given we can get the power rating so power rating equal 13 kilowatt we are getting next so here to calculate the piece circle diameter of the driving sprocket you need to find the number of teeth on the driving sprocket that is z1 z1 value is not given when z1 value is not given you can assume that as 17 d1 equal to this pitch also given in the problem z is also now known to you find d1 n1 and 2 values are known z1 value you know you can get the z2 value okay then you can find the d2 value next find the number of links here to find the number of links you need to know the center to center distance when the center to center distance is not known you assume that as 40 times of pitch pitch is given in the problem that's why you take 40p this value will be 105 that you can round up to 106 links once ln value is known to you you find the correct center distance a Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Keep smiling and bye bye for now.